Good evening, overthinkers. Welcome back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast for everyone. Tonight, we're talking about your sex life and your social anxiety. Yes, the two are linked, but they don't always mix. According to one study, women with social anxiety also experience social impairment. Well, isn't that great? We spotted this tweet in a Reddit thread about social anxiety. My libido says, please have sex. My social anxiety says, do it by yourself. You can see why social anxiety isn't a sexual lubricant when you look at the triggers. Performing in front of others. Intimate social situations. Fear of being judged, criticised and laughed at. So, how can we help ourselves? This is where we should say, social anxiety can be crippling. So if it's having a detrimental effect on your life, please speak to your doctor and get the support you deserve. In the meantime, there are steps we can take to boost our social confidence and our libido. According to Jenny Schuyler, director of the Intimacy Institute, it starts with addressing the cause of the anxiety. Try and deconstruct it, she says. Ask yourself these questions. Is this anxiety actually rational? Is it serving me? Or is it irrational, archaic, and not helping me be a resilient, functioning person in the world? Social anxiety is really good at pretending something else is to blame for the discomfort you're feeling. Are you blaming your partner? Are you blaming those few extra kilos? Have you put an if-only milestone in your future? If only I lost some weight, I wouldn't feel this way. Let's get honest. Would changing your appearance really help? Is there another fear that's driving your social anxiety? Not enoughness. Fear of losing control. A fear of being seen or being ignored. Once you know what you're dealing with, you're a step in the right direction. Finally, honesty is a powerful strategy. One of the symptoms of social anxiety is a fear that others will notice that you're anxious. Tell them. Get them to take it as a compliment. I'm really nervous, sir. My heart is pounding. Naming any kind of anxiety can diffuse it almost instantly. And let's remember... Many of the symptoms of arousal are very similar to anxiety. The racing heart, the shaking hands, lightheadedness or tingling. Reframe it in your brain. I'm really frickin' horny. It might just get you the big finale. Space out. 